Hi, uh, I am Muruhanandam from Department of Mechanical Engineering. I am working as Assistant Professor in this department. In this class, uh, we will study about the various plumbing tools uh, used in the plumbing practice. Uh, we shall study about uh, the various uh, plumbing activities and the related tools used for uh, doing this plumbing practice. Uh, here, Mr. N. Sivakumar, skilled assistant from plumbing laboratory. Uh, we both of us will explain about the various tools used in this plumbing laboratory. We shall go to the class. Plumbing is a practice of installation and maintenance of piping used for drinking water and drainage water. Next, materials used in plumbing practice. One, cast iron. Two, wrought iron. Three, steel. Four, poly vinyl chloride that is known as PVC etc. These are the materials used in plumbing practice cast iron, wrought iron, steel, polyvinyl chloride etc. <coughs> size of a pipe in this plumbing practice the size of a pipe is specified by its nominal bore diameter size of a pipe is specified by its nominal bore diameter example in a 50 mm pipe the diameter of bore the diameter of bore is equal to 50 mm all right size of a pipe is specified by its nominal bore diameter in a 50 mm diameter pipe the diameter of bore is 50 mm let us see the uses of various materials in various applications uses of various materials for various applications cast iron pipe it is used in water gas and steam applications wrought iron pipe is used for distribution of water at low pressure for low pressure applications it is used steel pipeline is used for distribution of water at high pressure at high pressure we can also use it for steam and gas copper is used in radiators of an automobile where cooling water is used to cool the engine radiator of an engine automobile engine so these are the applications of various materials used for piping cast iron we can use for water gas and steam wrought iron we use it for low pressure applications steel we use it for high pressure applications we can use the steel for water steam and gas as well copper for example is used in radiator of an automobile engine in in the installation and in the installation of a piping various joints are used what are those various joints example welding in order to connect a steel pipelines one end of the the steel pipelines are available in the lengths of um 10 meter 15 meter so when they are connected with each other we do welding low carbon steel 
high carbon steel alloy steel we have uh, various uh, materials used in various applications at low temperature uh, low pressure applications we use uh, low carbon steel for example in a steam thermal power plant uh, for uh, we, we, do you know where is a steam thermal power plant uh, in tamil nadu we have ennur uh, tutukurin these are the places where steam thermal power plants are uh, situated in a steam thermal power plant we have uh, the various uh, uh, fluids in various uh, equipments water is uh, present at low pressure and low temperature uh, when water is boiled we have steam at high pressure high temperature so in transporting the water in distributing the water within the plant we have low carbon steel in distributing the steam which is at high temperature and high pressure we go for alloy steel high carbon steel so depending upon the uh, type of application we use materials uh, low strength material at uh, low pressure low temperature conditions high strength material at high pressure high temperature conditions second kind of joint is flanged joint flange with fasteners what are the fasteners fasteners are bolts and nuts bolts and nuts um again uh, there are uh, two pipelines uh, at both the pipelines the ends are welded with a flange the two flanges are bolted with each other fashioned with each other using bolts and nuts in between the two flanges there will be a gasket material three threaded joints threaded joints we use uh, ext we have external thread internal thread on the outer face of uh, a pipe we have an external thread at the inner face of a union a connector we have internal thread using this uh, we will connect the two pipelines for example this is a cast iron pipe uh, on this uh, cast iron pipe we have uh, threading on the outer face on one end of the pipe this is again a connector which is made up of cast iron if we have two pipes we can connect these two pipes using this connectors on the outer surface of the pipe we have external thread on the inner surface of this connector we have internal threads when this internal thread is mated with this external thread connection can be made between two pipelines similarly we have an another pipe which is having external thread let us say this is a second pipe the second pipe can be screwed with the first pipe using this connector the connector acts as a joint between these two pipes this joint is called threaded joint this pipe is made up of polyvinyl chloride pvc this pipe is also made up of polyvinyl chloride pvc this is an elbow joint in order to uh, make a 90 degree bend in the pipe layout piping layout we use this joint here again at the interior face of this uh, connector we have the internal thread this is also an another connector called union 
which can be used for connecting two pipelines this connector is used for distributing a main pipeline into two branches if we have a main pipeline from the overhead tank in order to distribute it to two different taps for distribution of water we have such a t joint here this may be an inlet these two may be two outlets again interior face of this connector is given with internal thread this is a gate wall made up of brass we can see now there is a gate a disc kind of wall which closes and opens the passage in the pipeline it is called a gate wall where we can see the opening of a disc shaped gate inside the wall this is a ball wall we can see inside there is a ball wall again it is used for opening and closing the passage of a pipeline it is also made up of brass material inside you can see a ball surface a spherical surface is used to open or close the passage this is a bib cock which is used in our uh, homes in the uh, kitchen in the uh, bathing rooms we have such a kind of tap which is called bib cock inside there is a Uh, wedge shaped uh, wall uh, similar to the disc shaped wall and the uh, ball wall we have wedge shaped wall uh, which is uh, used to open or close the wall here we can see here the uh, in order to uh, seal the wall we have rubber material which is used to seal the wall this is called a pillar cog this is called an angle cog as i have shown uh, uh, there are uh, threaded joints uh, which i have shown um, connector uh, elbow t joint union these are coming under threaded joints etc so in the installation of piping various joints are used um welding flange with fasteners where bolts and nuts are used to join two flanges which are part of the two pipelines then third we have threaded joints where we have elbow union connector valves etc which i have just shown uh, during my uh, presentation the nomenclature of threaded joints a screw thread nomenclature of a screw thread there are three major diameters this is d1 this is d2 this is d3 d1 
is root to root diameter that is called minor diameter d2 is major diameter d3 is called pitch diameter the various uh, parts of this screw thread are crust of the thread that is tip of the thread is called crust tip of the thread this is base of the thread that is called root of the thread root the depth of the thread is given by d depth of the thread the distance between the points on the adjacent threads is called pitch let us say this is one point on the crust of this thread this is the corresponding point on the crust of the adjacent thread the distance measured along the axis is called pitch p pitch of the thread pitch of the thread d depth this is the axis angle of the thread the included angle between the sides of the thread is called angle of the thread this is one side this is another side that included angle is angle of the thread theta these are the sides of the thread side side of the thread so these are the elements of a screw thread or nomenclature of a screw thread d1 major minor diameter d2 major diameter d3 pitch diameter p is the pitch d is the depth theta is the angle uh pitch is the distance measured along the axis of the thread between the points of correspondence of the adjacent threads depth is the radial distance measured from the root to the crust of a thread the axial distance between corresponding points of adjacent threads i have shown in the previous page that i measure the distance from the point of one crust to the point of adjacent crust or we can also measure from the point of one root to the adjacent root that distance is called pitch uh, depth is the radial distance measured from the root to the crust of a screw thread what is angle the included angle between the sides of a screw thread so 
these uh, elements of screw threads are very important in the practice of plumbing types of screw threads we have various types for example a single stroke thread second one is multi stroke threads for example two stroke thread three stroke thread depending upon that multi stroke thread depending upon the number of starts we can classify it to multi stroke threads what are the differences between these two kinds of threads one is pitch and lead already i have explained what is pitch the axial distance measured along the uh, between the corresponding points of the adjacent threads if pitch is equal to lead if pitch p is equal to l that is lead we can say let us say l pitch p is equal to um let us say example uh, let us say that uh, um, symbol is l then we have if pitch is equal to lead then it is called a single start thread for one complete turn of the screw the uh, advancement of the screw uh, is known as lead in a multi start thread lead l is equal to n times the pitch where n is number of starts in a two start thread we have two times the pitch this multi start thread is used in applications where we need a quick movement of the uh, Uh, thread inside the hole for example fountain pen example fountain pen cap in a fountain pen cap we have such a kind of thread so we can classify the screw threads according to the number of starts of the thread single start thread and multi start thread in a single start thread for one revolution of the screw the screw advances along the axial direction by pitch of the thread that is lead in a multi start thread for one rotation of the screw the fastener advances in the axial direction by n times the pitch of the thread that is lead is n times the lead of a single start thread if the lead of a single start thread is <coughs> 1 mm in a two start thread the lead is 2 mm in a three start thread it is 3 mm for the same pitch p is equal to 1 mm example we can also classify the screw threads another classification of screw thread 1 left handed thread to right handed thread in a left handed thread upon the rotation of the fastener in the anti clockwise direction the fastener will advance in the axial direction in a right handed thread upon the rotation of the thread in the clockwise direction the fastener advances in the axial direction so previously i have not uh, uh, explained you what is lead now i am defining what is lead axial advancement or displacement of a fastener for one complete rotation of the fastener 
so we can classify the screw threads according to the number of starts single start thread and multi start thread we can also classify the screw threads according to the direction of rotation of the screw left handed thread and right handed thread <coughs> we have forms of screw threads forms of screw threads uh, the forms of screw threads are defined by uh, piping thread uh, standardization uh, st standardization procedures there are <coughs> generally uh, three forms of threads being used uh, uh, in screw threads one is british standard whitworth thread second one is british standard fine thread this is abbreviated as bsw this is abbreviated as bsf third one is british standard piping thread bsp it is called bsp british standard piping thread this is the pitch p measured between root to root of as adjacent screw threads this is depth measured from depth uh, root to crust of a screw thread this is height h again it is measured from root to crust of the ideal screw thread in a bsw system d 
depth of the screw thread is, e is equal to 0 0.6403 Two seven into pitch of the thread. The angle included angle theta is fifty five degree. The radius of the tooth, radius of the tooth is zero point one three seven two seven eight into pitch of the thread. In the first exercise <coughs> that we are going to practice in this plumbing laboratory, we have been given with uh, a BSP thread, British Standard Piping Thread, right, which is designated by 3 by 4 BSP 14. Example, example, a 3 by 4 inch BSP 14 represents, we shall move on to the next page or we shall erase it. <coughs> Three by four BSP fourteen represents that it is of a form known as British standard pipe thread three by four three by four indicates that the nominal diameter or the pitch diameter is 3 by 4 inch 3 by 4 inch how much is equal to 3 by 4 inch 3 by 4 inch is equal to 3 by 4 into 25.4 mm. How much is it? 19.793 mm. What does 14 indicates? 14 indicates that There are fourteen teeth per inch of the 
the pitch. There are 14 teeth per inch of the pitch. So from which we can find out what is the pitch of the thread. What is pitch then? Pitch is equal to 1 inch by 14. 1 by 14 inch. That is, we shall go to the next one. So a 3 by 4 BSP 14 represents that it is of a form known as British Standard Pipe Thread. 3 by 4 indicates that the nominal diameter is 3 by 4 inch, that is 3 by 4 into 25.4, 19.793 mm. Number 14 indicates that there are 14 teeth per inch from which we can find the pitch, that is 1 by 14 of the inch. 1 by 14 into 25.4 mm. How much is it? 1.814 mm. That is the pitch of the thread. We understand that a screw thread <coughs> is represented in practice in plumbing practice by the following quantities one nominal diameter of the screw thread two form of the screw thread from the form of the screw thread we can identify what is the angle of the thread what is the radius of the root what is the depth of the thread what is the pitch of the thread third one is pitch of the thread from the form of the thread we, whether it is BSW or BSF or BSP we can come to know. We understand that a screw thread is represented by plumbing in plumbing practice by the following quantities nominal diameter of the screw thread, form of the screw thread and pitch of the screw thread. We shall now go to uh, uh, explain about the various tools used in the plumbing practice, plumbing tools. Plumbing tools. What are the plumbing tools? First one is pipe wise. Two is Hacksaw, three is dice. Four is stock. Five is taps, six is wrench, we shall see these uh, tools one by one, <coughs> pipe wise is used for supporting the pipe during external threading operation external threading operation 
hack saw for cutting the pipe to required length dice for making external thread stock for holding the dice taps for making internal threads wrench for holding and manipulating the pipe during the threading operation we shall i uh, show the various tools used in this plumbing practice one by one before showing the uh, pipe wise i shall show the hacksaw this is the hacksaw this portion is the frame of the hacksaw the handle and this is the hacksaw blade this hacksaw blade is fitted in between two prongs using this wing nut by unscrewing we can remove the hacksaw blade from the hacksaw by unscrewing this wing nut we can remove the hacksaw blade from the hacksaw frame these are the two prongs in between which we can fit this hacksaw blade while fitting this hacksaw blade we have to be very cautious about the direction of the teeth the teeth direction should be such that we should not fit in the reverse direction we got to fit the blade in such a way that the teeth are facing towards the wing end of the hacksaw frame not the handle end of the hacksaw frame if you fit it in the reverse direction the cut cannot be made this is the reverse direction here the teeth are facing the handle it will not produce the required cut in order to produce the required cut the teeth has to the teeth have to face the wing end of the nut after fitting this we can tighten this wing nut the hacksaw blade is fitted inside the hacksaw frame the right hand is used for holding this hacksaw frame and the left hand is placed on the <coughs> front end wing end of the hacksaw frame during cutting we got to apply the pressure in the forward direction during the return direction we should not apply any pressure in the forward direction it cuts the material because the blade uh, teeth are facing the forward direction so the forward direction is the wing end direction the other uh, cutting tool used in plumbing practice is shown here next one is dice these are the dice used for uh, making the threads external thread on a pipeline the piping may be either this uh, cast iron piping or a pvc piping over this pvc piping 
or the cast iron piping we can make threading over this cast iron piping or this PVC piping we can make threading using this die it is made up of hard alloy steel okay these are the two uh, mates of the uh, dies and these dies are placed inside this stock these are the parts of the stock this is nothing but the die holding device it is used for holding the dies uh, mr uh, Uh, Mr. Sivakumar will uh, demonstrate you how to fit this uh, uh, dies inside this uh, blocks. This is the front portion of the die stock. The front portion of the die stock is placed downwards. The, the dies are placed inside the stock in such a way that the top portion which is showing the uh, specification of the die here the specification of the die is shown as 3 by 4 BSP 14 focus it please focus it 3 by 4 BSP 14 is it readable what does this 3 by 4 BSP 14 indicates 3 by 4 is the nominal diameter of the pipe on which we can make the thread that is 3 by 4 inch which I was shown to be 19.1872 mm and BSP is the form of the thread, British standard piping thread, for which the angle is 55 degree. The depth and height I have shown in the figure, 14 is the numeral which gives the number of teeth per inch of the thread, from which we can find out the pitch of the thread that is equal to 1.982 mm, that is the pitch of the thread. So these specifications are there, the side showing the specification of the thread is phased upwards as shown here. After placing the dies, the stock is tightened. These are the screws. The pipe is placed in between these two dies, which can be manipulated the pipe, the unthreaded portion of the pipe can be inserted inside and these fasteners have to be tightened now we can make the thread so in this way that uh, uh, threading can be done which will be explained in the next uh, uh, exercise by Mr. Ram Kumar uh, in detail in the lab itself, plumbing lab itself, just to, to show you how these uh, various parts of the die stock are assembled to get the required thread I am showing. This is called pipe wrench. This is called pipe wrench. It has two jaws. This is a movable jaw. This is a fixed jaw. The fixed jaw is connected with the uh, long handle, which is uh, used for holding this pipe wrench. The other movable jaw can be moved to any position based on the diameter of the pipe. For example, in order to manipulate this pipe, we can hold this pipe in between these two jaws and tighten this. So, 
so this pipe can be handled the pipe can be held by this pipe wrench we can unscrew or screw it based on the requirement this is also uh, an another wrench it is called slide wrench which can also be used for holding the various parts of uh, the plumbing uh, uh, materials for example in order to unscrew or screw the fastener of a bib cock we can use it wherever the standard wrenches are not holding the required fastener we can use it to unscrew or screw the fixtures of the plumbing materials this is cutting plier which is used to uh, unscrew or screw any other fixtures of the plumbing materials ninge is coming in this class uh, we have learned about the plumbing practice what is a plumbing practice uh, the applications of plumbing practice as i have explained it is used for uh, installation and maintenance of uh, piping to distribute drinking water uh, drainage water sewage water not only in the uh, private homes but also in public places uh, in buildings wherever we have such applications for drinking water and uh, sanitation purposes we use this plumbing practice the various materials used in this plumbing practice have been explained cast iron wrought iron steel brass etc we go studied about the various screw threads which are used for joining the piping uh, threaded joints are used in low pressure piping which we, which are the uh, exercises that we are going to uh, do in this course on engineering practices laboratory under the plumbing practice for the screw threads uh, we have various uh, nomenclature uh, crust of a screw thread uh, root of a screw thread depth of a screw thread pitch of a screw thread minor diameter major diameter pitch diameter various forms of screw threads british standard piping thread british standard witwer thread british standard fine thread based on this nomenclature we specify the screw thread in any application for example in the first exercise of a plumbing practice we are going to make an external thread over a 3 by 4 inch pipe for which the specification is that we have to make a bsp screw thread with 14 inches per inch of pitch uh, requirement for which i have shown the dies required for the respective uh, screw threads these are the dies dies are placed inside the stock called die stock and we shall show in the lab where this uh, pipe is fitted that is pipe wise will be shown uh, the pipe wise will be placed in the uh, bench wise and uh, using this die stock the required external thread can be made with this i complete the introduction about the plumbing practice and the various tools used in this plumbing practice this is the plumbing wise this wise is used for the pipes having diameters of 
a maximum 1 inch uh, 1 inch and 2 inch pipe piping sizes this can be used up to 3 inch pipes you can use for the nominal diameter of 3 inch i shall explain how this pipe is placed inside this pipe wise there are two jaws bottom one is the fixed jaw bottom one is the fixed jaw top one is the movable jaw which can be moved up and down based on the size of the pipe the pipe can be fitted inside this stock the dies within the stock this is the end of the stock which has to be inserted by tightening the screws we can make the thread over the pipe so the that exercise will be explained by mr ram kumar during the next uh, session just i am explaining where this dies and uh, die stock is used in this plumbing practice Let us say this uh, simple connector called coupling can be fitted in over this. With, with which another piping can be connected. In order to handle this, we have this. In order to can tighten it can tighten the joints using this pipe wrench the pipe wrench is placed over this connector and rotated to make a perfect a tight joint so pipe is held by this bench wise and using this pipe wrench the connectors can be rotated to make a tight fit joint between adjacent pipes.